I am going to show you the advantages of making your own bottle beehive system from low cost parts that are easily available in North America. And I'll graphically illustrate the reduction in the area of exposure when opening or splitting the hive, dramatically reducing your contact with the bees. Max Igorov in St. Petersburg, Russia has an excellent video showcasing his evolutionary system that he has developed. Our series will not duplicate his content, but instead will show you how to make your own system without a table saw, router, or chop saw. Unlike some YouTube videos, we won't waste your time watching us develop it by trial and error. The system is already developed and based on the book Beekeeping for the Apocalypse. Although we will talk about contactless beekeeping, there really is no such thing. You risk contact with a bee on a walk through your neighborhood. What we really mean is low contact beekeeping where we minimize the contact with the bees as much as possible. You will probably associate beekeepers with veiled bee suits, long gloves, and a can emitting smoke. This equipment is required for beginning beekeepers due to the high amount of contact with the bees in the hive. A hive can contain 50 to 60,000 bees. Even when opening the hive at times when most of the bees are in the field collecting pollen, there are still thousands of bees in the hive and a steady stream of bees returning. Traditional beekeepers will open their hives from one to four times a month so that they can inspect the condition of their colony. That means that they are exposing themselves to thousands of bees on a regular basis. To be sure, there are beekeeping systems that have the goal of minimizing the intrusion into the hive, but the design of almost all commercially available hives means opening a large area to see what is going on inside. But by keeping your bees in a transparent hive, you are able to examine the condition of a large part of the colony without opening the container. Hives can be split and honey supers removed with almost no exposure. Even if the bottle must be opened, the area exposed is reduced. As a result of the dramatically reduced exposure, the need for a full protective suit and smoker may not be a necessary initial investment. Of course, it should be said that if you or a family member is allergic to bees, you probably should not be considering beekeeping as a hobby, even with a reduced contact system. Advantage of bottle beekeeping are low cost of entry compared to traditional systems, reduced contact with the bees means less stress on the beekeeper and the colony, educational value of a transparent hive that can be examined without exposure to the bees, ease of single hive transportation, less physical strain due to the lighter weight of a hive full of bees and honey, easy comb rotation to aid in the long-term health of the colony, possibility for indoor beekeeping, and a natural approach for those concerned about contamination from beekeeping chemicals. Stay tuned to the end for a list of the tools that you will need to build your own bottle beehive system and a list of parts that you will need for the next video. There are disadvantages too. The disadvantages of bottle beekeeping are it's not suitable for commercial operations since the hives cannot be conveniently put on pallets for shipments. There is a lower honey yield. Langstroth and similar hives have been designed to maximize every inch of space. Round bottles will be less efficient. And finally, you may not be appreciated by traditional beekeepers due to the radical departure from existing methods. We focus on components that can be readily obtained from the store that everybody loves to hate, Walmart, along with a dollar store and your neighborhood hardware store like Ace. In the next video, we will show you how to modify a low-cost bucket swarm trap to integrate with the bottle system. In the video after that, we will build a plastic bottle beehive. The bottle will be utilized as a part of the swarm trap, then used as your first hive. For the series, you will need the following tools. A box knife, a drill or a hand brace, a three-quarter inch diameter drill bit, a one inch diameter drill bit, and a two and one eighth inch hole saw, and finally a hot glue gun and some glue sticks. Watch the next video to learn how you can modify a bucket into part of a swarm trap to get free bees into your bottle beehive.